the LinkedIn, LinkedIn, some of you may have noticed in the last five months or so, LinkedIn had a complete uh, overhaul of their interface. So what we used to know as advanced search has changed a little bit. So finding people on LinkedIn now on the free version really begins with creating search strings. So identifying the keywords and titles of the people that you're looking to, to connect with really your buyers. So that's the, like, so it might be like VP of sales or VP of marketing, right? And so, and then you can create full strings that might be VP or director or manager in one category and sales or marketing. So I won't get into the weeds on this, but developing those search strings, and if you want to, if, if people are interested, I have a blog post on that, they can connect with me and I can share how to do that. But the key to success in finding the right people now is absolutely being able to create those search strings in a way that, that offers up a list of the right people that you want to connect with. Now, the, ma the magic is, once you put in that search, it's identifying second degree connections. So it's finding folks that are one degree away, that are friends of friends, essentially, inside of LinkedIn. Uh, and, and so that's really a key element to this being a little bit of a warmer connection um, than, than if you were to go out and cold call. All right, so these, um, you're, you're jumping on LinkedIn, you're going to, the advanced search and you're putting in these um, search strings. Um, mm -hmm. Can you give me an, an example of uh, one specific one for say, yeah, VPs? Yeah, so let's, let's say you want it, you, let's say you work with higher level people in sales and marketing. So you would have a search string, the first one would be VP or SVP or director, any of the title, the, the, the high level titles and they would be in parentheses. And then there would be a connector with an and, because if we just searched those, it would be, be VP of operations, SVP of IT, right? Like it wouldn't be sales and marketing. So now we have this big bucket. Let's look at like those parentheses as a big bucket. So LinkedIn went out to the world and put in every VP, every SVP into this big bucket. And then you have another big bucket here of all the sales and all the marketing people. And then by connecting them with an and, they have to have something from this bucket and something from this bucket to come up. So they have to be, they have to be in the sales and marketing bucket, but they also have to be in the VP or director bucket. And then that will provide you a list of a targeted title that you're looking to, uh, to connect with. Now, the key at LinkedIn, so, so the, I mean, that, that's great in and of itself. The key is the relationship. Being able to click second degree will allow you to identify who in your network knows these people. So we can leverage those relationships for warm introductions and or we can connect with them with something meaningful, like a meaningful piece of content and refer to the fact that we have shared connections. But either way, it's warmer than going to a third and beyond. All right, great. So we're, that's almost, I suppose, going, going to the, the second step there. But that, that foundational first step of finding the right people is really about, well, you know, let's get these search parameters really, really narrowed down so we can find our hottest prospects and we can, we can target them first. And then move the, the second, third step it's going to be so much more easier to get them closer to a sale because you've identified them as you know, the most likely, likely buyers. Absolutely. And remember the key with all, you can have filters, you can have like location filters. The real key is that second degree relationship filter. Uh, that, that's what LinkedIn provides us that there is, that there is no other substitute in the world. When you look at it, we're really asking LinkedIn to search all of our connections connections and give us a list of the people we want to talk to and what you know who they belong to i call them the rolodex right but so in the old-fashioned rule, well, you're too young probably liam but 
your parents probably had a Rolodex, right? Which was like the, you know, this big thing with all the business cards. So now what we're doing is searching everyone's Rolodex and saying, pull out the business cards of everybody that's a VPN in sales, right? And then LinkedIn serves us that list and tells us whose Rolodex it came from. So now I get to find out all of my potential buyers in one list, and I'm really able to identify who can help me gain access to those people.